There are plenty of places along the coast of Maine where you can stop for lunch or dinner. There are few where you can get a sandwich and a beer with a side of the divine. Five days a week, if you stop by the Friars Brew House Tap Room, you'll be greeted by Franciscan brothers who have trusted their intuition, their strong belief in the hand of God, and their talent with water, grain, and yeast to find their way to Main Street in Bucksport. Breaking bread is a universal symbol of community at the heart of Christianity. I love it when people walk out and they say, where's the kitchen in this place? <laughs> the servers always say right there. For brother Don Paul and brother Kenneth Leo, making bread more than two decades ago is where their ministry first took shape. We happened to be walking through an antique store and saw a bread making bucket. It was like $15 and I said to brother Kenneth, we should buy that. And he said, why? I said, well, we should buy that and make bread, I think. I, I don't know why, but we should buy that. So we did. So we started making bread. They made and sold that bread first out of their apartment, then in a church kitchen, and eventually at the beloved Friars Bakehouse in Bangor. The bakehouse became a gathering spot, a place where friends and strangers alike found common ground around generously portioned sandwiches. Any kind of ministering that you do for people is much more effective when you're not aware you're doing it. In the 19 years, we have people who met and got married from meeting there. Mm. We have lifelong friendships, people that made friendships over the years. There was at least one organ donation that I know of <laughs> <laughs> that happened. So, I mean, and that was just from, that was just from, I hate to say it, but almost literally forcing people to, to sit yeah. and talk with each other. The divine seemed to enter in again when a home brewing store opened across the street from the bakery and Brother Don took an interest in brewing his own beer. Before long, his beer was pretty good, and the brewer at the store gave him another nudge. Have you thought about selling the beer? And I said, no, why? And he said, well, you know, not only is your, your beer's good to begin with, but he said, man, you guys got a backstory. <laughs> Die for. And I said, what do you mean? He goes, a group of Franciscans brewing beer on the side of a mountain in Bucksport? Well, what is there not to like? It's like, well, I had never thought about it that way. But So we went ahead and got our brewer's license. Uh, that was in 2013, and we started to sell our beer just in bottles. With the idea of doing something closer to home, their monastery is near Bucksport. The brothers again leaned on their faith and their success with home brewing beer to consider the idea of opening a tap room. It's one thing for a person of faith to, to pray and say to God, show me what you want and I'll go do it. Whatever it is, whatever it is you, whatever your will is for me, I'll do it. Show me and I'll go when the real formula is, you go, then it'll show you. That's where the faith element comes in. But if you walk into the unknown, not knowing, but trusting, okay, that's where your faith comes to play. It took a lot of faith to envision their next endeavor in a space that in a previous life had been a tanning salon. You can picture it, tiny rooms and no kitchen. I still wonder how we ever walked through that and said, oh yeah, this'll work. I don't know what on earth we were thinking. That space is now home to the Friars Brew House Tap Room. Did you ever envision your ministry taking this kind of shape? Oh, not in a million years. Not in a million. <laughs> not in a million years. Yeah, yeah. But but that's the beauty of it. Chardonnay, yes, sure. Please. Thank you. They opened almost two years ago. Brother Don brews all the beer, generally Belgium and German styles, brewed traditionally as they have been in European monasteries for the last several centuries. With names like Tap Into Summer, Whoopie Pie Porter, and Monastery Ale, the award-winning beer brings in the patrons. What keeps them coming back is the warm reception, the lobster rolls, and the brothers who are always ready to welcome you. Thank you. Okay. One of the biggest mistakes people make about ministry is they think ministry happens in churches. Franciscan ministry has always been one of presence. If what you need is someone to listen to you and to pray with you, I can do that with you. Sure. I'm your guy. Yep, that, I'm, your, I'm your guy. The locals and the winter regulars are used to seeing the brothers serving customers in their traditional brown habits. But for some, that sight still turns a few heads. My all-time favorite one, though. Because <laughs> this happens every year. I was out, this is many years ago, but I was out shopping. There was a youth uh, retreat going on at our church in Bangor. I had volunteered to cook for the weekend, to do their food. The next day was Halloween. 
I'm, I'm pushing one cart and pulling another one because I'm trying to feed 50 kids for you know three days. And this guy walks up to me and says, wow, <laughs> that is a great outfit. So I just said, well, thank you, and kept going. And about two hours over, he came up to me with his tail between his legs. He said, you're really a religious brother, aren't you? I said, yes, I am. He said, I'm so sorry. I said, it's OK. He goes, you know, with tomorrow being Halloween, I said, oh, that's right. And I said, well, don't feel bad. It's Halloween every day at our house. It's all right. <laughs> that house is a cozy, inviting venue overlooking the shimmering Penobscot River. Part of the entertainment factor is the decor. Beer mug valances alongside saintly statues, plenty of signs paying tribute to beer and scripture, a portrait of St. Arnulf of Metz, patron saint of brewers. Last call. And a beautiful bell used for last call. I like the one on the poster back there in the corner. Qui bibi dormi, qui dormi non peccat, qui non peccat de santus est. He who drinks sleeps, he who sleeps does not sin, he who sin is holy, therefore he who drinks is holy. <laughs> Martin Luther. That's a Martin Luther quote. <laughs> I've never heard that before. That could have come in handy <laughs> at frequent times in my checkered past. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, the Friars Brew House Tap Room closed for a few weeks last winter when Brother Don had a heart attack and bypass surgery. And much to everyone's joy and amazement, he was back on his feet and back at the restaurant just eight weeks later. Rather amazing. And if you'd like to visit the tap room, it's a good idea to check before you go to see if they are open as restaurants are making changes to their hours of operation as things unfold, but it is worth the trip. And we will have a link to the tap room in the 207 section of our website and mobile app. Among the many nice touches, that bell. Beautiful. Nice it's one of those places where the more you look, the more you see. You know, yeah. I kept saying, oh my gosh, look at that, and look at that. And if the more you're in there, it's just full of really interesting stuff. And he's charming. He's wonderful. <laughs>